Hey there, adventure seekers and tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Tenergy channel, where we geek out about all things power related. In this video, we're going to tackle the top questions people have about the T320 portable power station. We'll be digging into its power capabilities, how long it lasts, different ways to charge it, and so much more. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in and get this party started. What is the Tenergy T320 Portable Power Station? The Tenergy T320 Portable Power Station is a compact and portable device that you can take with you wherever you go, giving it a capacity of 300 watt-hours. It is equipped with eight output ports. Included are two AC outlets, three USB ports, which are USB-A and USB-C ports, and three 12 volts ports. This allows users to power or charge a wide range of devices simultaneously on the go. Also, the T320 uses lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are known for being stable, having a high energy density, and a long cycle life. In fact, it can handle over 2,000 life cycles. They are less prone to thermal runaway issues compared to other lithium ion batteries. What devices can the T320 power? The T320 portable power station can power and recharge a wide range of devices as long as your devices stay within the 200 watts limit on the AC ports. Let's dive into practical examples of how the T320 portable power station can be useful in different scenarios. Imagine you're out on a fun picnic trip. The T320 portable power station is your reliable buddy, keeping your electronic essentials charged and ready. Whether it's your phone, laptop, drones, or mini cooler for chilled drinks, the T320 has got your back when it comes to power. For remote workers, such as photographers on location, the T320 can recharge your camera. It can also be used to power some small light equipment. During blackout situation, the T320 might be not as ideal as the T600 portable power station due to its smaller capacity. However, it still can be used to power small devices like a desk lamp or recharge phones, tablets, or handheld game console for entertainment purposes. Just keep in mind the power requirements of your devices. Make sure they stay within the AC wattage limit of 200 watts. Certain devices, especially those that generate heat or have powerful motors, may have the potential to exceed this limit. If a device draws excessive power and surpasses the T320's capacity, the power station will automatically shut off and you'll see a warning icon displayed. In such instances, unplug the device immediately to prevent overloading the unit. How long can the T320 power my device in terms of runtime in a single charge? The runtime of this portable power station depends on the power consumption of your device in watts. You can find this info on the T320's display when plug in your device. I'll use this studio light as an example. At current setting, the light uses about 25 watts of power. Then, to estimate the runtime, you need to divide the T320's capacity, which is 300 watt hours, by the power consumption of your device. So a fully charged T320 can power this studio light at its current brightness for 12 hours. Keep in mind that this is a rough estimate, as actual runtime may be 15 to 20% shorter. In this case, it will be around 10.2 hours. Can the T320 power a CPAP machine? The T320 can power a CPAP machine, but its duration may not last for a full eight hour sleep cycle with certain models. To determine the power consumption of your CPAP machine, simply use it on the T320 and the screen will display the power usage. For this specific CPAP model, it draws around 33 watts of power during operation. So, the T320 can power it for approximately 8 to 9 hours, which is sufficient for a complete sleep cycle. However, if your CPAP model consumes more power, you might want to consider the T600 as it offers double the capacity and runtime. What should I do when I first receive the T320? When you first receive the T320, we recommend performing an initial charge to 100%, regardless of whether you plan to use it immediately or store it. This step helps calibrate the state of charge of the unit and ensures that it is fully charged for your first use. How long does it take to recharge the T320? 
The time required to recharge the T320 portable power station varies depending on the chosen charging method. There are four different ways to recharge this power station. The first method is using the provided power adapter. It comes in two separate parts, so make sure to connect them together like this. Once that's done, plug this end into the T320's input port and this end into a regular AC wall plug. Charging the unit from 0% to 100% using this method takes around 8 hours. Another way to charge the T320 is by using the USB-C port. This port is bi-directional, which means you can use a USB-C adapter and cable rated at 50 watts or higher to recharge the unit. With this method, you can expect a full recharge in approximately 8 hours. Another option is to use a 60 watts solar panel. Under ideal weather conditions, it takes about 7 hours to fully recharge the unit using solar power. Lastly, you can use the provided car charger adapter to recharge the T320 on the go through your vehicle's 12 volts port. This method typically takes around 10 hours to reach a full recharge. Please note that these charging times are approximate and may vary based on various factors, such as the charging source's efficiency and the power station's current battery level. Also, this power station doesn't support dual charging by combining the AC adapter and USB-C. Each charging method should be used separately. Which solar panels are compatible with the T320? Any solar panels that provide a DC output within the range of 5 to 24 volts, along with a cable featuring a DC 55 21-barrel connector, are compatible for recharging this portable power station. However, to achieve faster charging speeds, we recommend utilizing solar panels with a minimum rating of 60 watts. Can it be used to jumpstart a car? No, the T320 portable power station cannot be used to jumpstart a car. Jumpstarting a car typically requires a significantly higher amount of power surge than what this power station can provide. It is recommended to use a dedicated jump starter for this purpose. However, you can use the T320 to recharge the jump starter battery pack once it's depleted. Can I leave this T320 connected to a solar panel for extended periods of time? No, we do not recommend connecting the T320 to any power source, including a solar panel for extended periods of time. Doing so has the potential to reduce the power station's lifespan. It is advisable to disconnect the T320 from the solar panel once it has reached a full charge. This practice helps ensure the longevity and optimal performance of the power station. How to store the T320 for long periods? For long-term storage of the T320 power station, follow these tips. First, charge it to around 50%. Next, power it off or disconnect from any power sources. Find a cool and dry place to store it. Remember to check on it every three months and ensure the charge level doesn't go below 20%. Fully recharge before using it again. Can I charge and discharge the T320 at the same time? Yes, this power station can be charged and used at the same time, allowing for continuous power supply to your devices while it's recharging. However, keep in mind that charging times may be longer when the T320 is powering devices simultaneously. It's important to consider the power balance between the devices connected and the power being provided to the unit. Using high power devices or multiple devices that require more power than the power station's charging input may result in faster battery depletion. That's a wrap. We've covered all the FAQs about the T320 portable power station. We hope this video has provided valuable insights and helped you understand its capabilities. If you found this helpful and enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Feel free to leave any questions or share your own T320 experiences in the comments below. We're eager to hear from you. Thanks for watching, stay powered up, and keep exploring.